on everybody welcome back to another episode thank you so much for clicking on this one i really appreciate it i apologize for the wind noise uh, but i'm getting ready for a, an evening sit today it was kind of a warm february today it was a nice 81 degrees so i think my animal movement is going to be a little bit later today that being said i am going to make another run another test at these ramcap broadheads i want to give them a, a fair and square handshake before we set them off to the side and try some other broadheads that some of you guys have been sending me lately. I've got a little bit of a stockpile of some new ones that I want to try, uh, but I just want to get past these ram cats first and then we'll move on from there. Got a lot of different pigs hit the feeder uh, in the last several days, different times. We could see them after dark, we could see them any minute now, which is kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm going to slowly, uh, not slowly, quickly pack my things up and we're going to make our way down to that spot that I call the tank stand, one of my favorites on here on this property. But before we do that, I want to share the verse of the day with you guys. It comes from John chapter 15, verse 5. It says, Yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. So it's a good reminder today, guys, to spend time in the Word, spend time in prayer, spend time um, with our Savior, and produce much fruit. As always, stock archery arrows silent series arrows and like I said just a few seconds ago it is the ram cat going back in um, I don't know why I'm knocking this right now I don't need to knock this right now uh, old habits die hard but I do need to have my release out because there's a chance that on our way down there we're gonna run into some picks but oh and one last thing guys don't remember I mean don't remember don't forget I want you to remember that at 50,000 subscribers, we are doing, or I am doing, a hog hunt giveaway at the Real McCoy Ranch. It's going to be one night of stay, two days of hunting, you get to shoot a hog. So, um, for those of you that want to get entered into that, you have to be sure that you're subscribed right now. And also, the video at the very top of the description below, you click on that video and you leave a comment on it. It's two simple steps that get you entered in to win a hunt for some hogs in South Texas with me. So. Be sure that you're subscribed. Let's rock and roll. a shell shock to the eyes my goodness that's bright how awesome is that <laughs> that was too cool so these pigs um, <laughs> just to give you guys a little background a little backup story so I'm sitting here and I look out across the field it's dark but I had just enough moonlight and I'm looking and I see three pigs three boars coming across the field they go around the feeder get into the tank right here off to my side and I was fixing to turn my light on and shoot one. And then those two or three sows and all the piglets, they popped out at the feeder. And I'm like, well, whenever the sows and the piglets did that, the uh, the boars just left, which was very surprising to me. I figured they would come in and feed with these other pigs, but they didn't. So I just took the biggest sow out of the group, like a on the money heart shot. So we're gonna go see how that uh, ram cat performed. 
my knock apparently turned off, so I'm gonna see if I can find my arrow. I'm pretty certain it passed through. Should be a good blood trail, but we're gonna jump down and find out. It's kind of crazy because those sows, I heard them off to my right about 20, 15, 20 minutes ago, along with all of the piglets, and they never came out. I expected them to just pop out of the corner right here on my right, and they didn't. They circled around behind me, came up from my left side. The boars came from directly in front of me and then went to my right. And I thought they were gonna just walk right in and they didn't. So anyway, it'd be another day to chase some boars and then finish whittling down that group of uh, sows and piglets. But it's a fun time, no doubt. And let's go see if we can't find our hog. Get our track on here. Oh my stars. <gasps> wow. Check that out, guys. Oh, had a fletching come off and she broke my knock. The broadhead is still 100% intact. Wow. I do not think I've ever seen a blood trail this good. Oh my goodness. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Whoa, dude. This is unreal. She can't be far. It's just literally walking at a steady pace. further than 30 yards I'd be very very surprised. Golly. Are you serious? Wow. I have literally honestly have never seen a trail this good in my entire life ever. I still can't believe she's run as far as she has. This is absolutely insane. Why'd you have to run in there? Come on. There she is. No way you're still alive. Wow. That is absolutely unreal. That is, without a doubt, the <laughs> best blood trail I've ever followed in my entire bow hunting career. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Hands down, that was almost unbelievable. You hear the cliche saying of, it was like somebody poured it out on the trail and you just follow it. That's literally, literally what it was. I mean, it, I never had to stop or slow down. Um, the, the only time I had to slow down was when I had to like turn around the corner a little bit where she had run, but she made it like probably 35, 40 yards. That is incredible. and. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you. I was a touch lower than I thought I was, but I was right in the armpit, and I had had to have hit the bottom of her heart. It's the only way she was able to go as far as she did. Let me get her flipped over here. It literally went in, like right here, the bottom of the armpit, came out on the, basically on the bottom of the leg right there on the opposite side completely passed through <laughs> and it looks like it took out the leg as well that is wild guys I cannot even begin to describe to you <laughs> how awesome of a trail that was just a big old fat sow what can I say <laughs> the, uh, the ram cat on a stock archery aerial it performed and fortunately enough this hog ran back towards the uh, inside of my property even if it wouldn't have and it would have run towards the neighbors like the last one did that I let an arrow fly with a ram cat at it still wouldn't have made it to the neighbors so that's a plus I've, I haven't used these heads in quite some time and I've been very impressed with them 
over the years, but not like this. It seems like I've always had really good trails with them, but never had one this good. So this video, this hog, this hunt, everything is going in the memory banks for sure. That was too stinking cool. One good swine. It was so windy I had to jump in the truck to finish this video out so I didn't make you guys suffer. Uh, but this was such a fun hunt. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I've had uh, several groups of pigs moving back in on my lease and we're going to take advantage of that and film a lot of fun videos, a lot of broadhead videos, testing videos. Um, I, I was pretty certain that that ram cat was going to perform very well and that just kind of reaffirmed my, my thought. That for sure, hands down, was one of the best trails that I've ever been down ever <laughs> on any animal that was pretty incredible and i'm very impressed that's not a sponsored thing at all by any means that's just me telling you guys the honest truth i love hunting them after dark it is a ton of fun and if you guys haven't tried it you need to try it but set up on a target in, in your yard or something first or at a range or whatever and fling a few arrows with a bow light and once you get used to it and you learn it uh, then go uh, try it out in the field and see what you think. I, I just enjoy it so much. Nothing knows that you're there. And it was and always is an absolute blast getting after him with the sniper hog lights red light. And I know that a lot of you will ask what lights I was running tonight. And those are linked down in the description below. They are sniper hog lights lights. And they have been uh, super useful and very <laughs> more than just useful. They've been uh, phenomenal for many, many years that, that I've been using them hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, as much as I did. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure that you subscribe and get in for the 50k hog hunt giveaway. And I'll see you guys in just a few days. Oh, bury me, carry me up.